Hi guys and welcome to my channel and if you're new, welcome, welcome to this video. So I just filmed a video and uh, well, while I was playing with makeup I realized that I haven't tried or reviewed the L'Oreal Paris Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick Less Chocolate, the chocolate collection lipsticks and I have all 10 shades, 10 shades and I did wear a shade a couple of days just to try it out to review and tell you wear time and how it feels on the lips. So today I'm going to swatch all of them on my lips and I'm going to tell you what I exactly like and don't like about this collection. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. So guys, maybe you think I look a little bit too bright under my eyes, but I'm trying out the new Huda Beauty setting or baking powder and I kind of like it. I like how it looks on my eyes. It kind of makes me look more awake. I haven't slept very nice last night. So these lipstick, lipsticks came out for a couple of months ago and they just be, have been released here in Sweden and I'm glad to, so I can review them. Now they do wear a long time. I like them because they are kind of, they feel very mousse, moussey. They feel like pudding. They smell they really smell nice. I love this applicator and I get hungry every time I put this on my lips. Now I wore only one shade and I think it was this one, the one that I was mo most scared about. This is in shade Ginger Bomb, Ginger Bomb 860. And I wear it alone and also put a lip gloss over and it looks amazing. It wears a long time. I like the texture. I like how it feels on the lips. And it's easy to reapply. I like them. They're my new favorite. Tati, you made me buy this. And I think you're right. They are lovely. The shades are kind of weird. And when I say weird, they all look brownish red like chocolate. Now, I also like that because the most brands when they come out with a collection, a Coca-Cola collection, peach collection, cherry collection, the products only have maybe one or two shades, palettes or the lipsticks along the collection that really goes with the name. The rest of them are strange. I'm going to put all of them on my lips and, I'm, lips and you can watch it. Tell me what you think about them. The first shade I'm going to swatch on my lips is uh, this one, 842 Candyman. I love the names and it looks like this. This is the Candyman. Candy it's very thick lipstick and it uh, dries down to a matte finish, maybe a little bit, uh, yeah, matte finish, but it's also very moussey and I love the applicator. So let's try this shade. I haven't swatched all of them on my lips at all. This has like a purple undertone. I think this one with the lip gloss would look wonderful. Oh, they smell so nice. They, it makes me hungry. This is a uh, candy man. The next shade we are going to try is this one, 848, the Dose of Cocoa. This one is more like a nude brown shade with pink undertone maybe. Oh, this is thick. And I only need to dip once in this. I kind of really like this shade. Okay, then we go to the next shade. Next shade is 852, Box of Chocolates. It's like dark brown shade. No, more like a purple undertone. Ooh. Mm. 
Then we have 854. It's called Bitten Sweets or Bitten Sweet. Sorry guys, my battery died while I was filming <laughs> applying this lipstick. But this is bittersweet. It looks a little bit grey, but I don't know. Not maybe not shade for me. They are easy to remove, that's good. Okay, let's go to the next shade. Next shade is number 856, 70% yum. This one is very dark. Yep, deep chocolate. There's a, guys, I know this swatch is like terrible, but I have to say this is very even. It's not streaky. It doesn't leave like the dark spots on the lips where you see the lipstick and don't see it. This is a very nice shade. I kind of like it. I like this shade. Very nice for fall. <laughs> Then the next shade is 858, oh my chalk. It's more purple, dark pur oh, purple undertone. It looks a little bit gray on the lips. Terrible swatch, but do you know what? I kind of like this shade. Then we go to the next shade. This one is 860 Ginger Bomb. Oh, the, yes. This one is the one that I've been wearing. Looks like light chocolate, milk chocolate shade. And the one I was most scared about because it looked kind of orange or something. I don't know. This one, guys, I really like. Then we have this shade, 862, in uh, Volupto Choco. Volupto Choco? Mm, don't know what that means, but and how to pronounce, but this is a nice chocolate shade. Like I said, the whole collection is really chocolate shades. Uh. This shade is like I ate a lot of chocolate and forgot to wipe my lips. Don't mind that, but I really like this shade, guys. I really like this shade. We have two more shades. Then we have like a red shade. This is 864 Tasty Ruby. This is a red one. Oh my God, this is so red. Let's see how it looks on the lips. No, red is a very, very sensitive shade, so I will probably wear a lip, uh, lip, lip liner with this one. It's a terrible swatch, guys, but I really like this shade. It, I think this suits me very nice, this shade. But the swatch is terrible. They feel a little bit 
sticky when you when you first apply down but when you let it dry down it, it's not sticky then oh this one <gasps> stain my hand it's everywhere red is everywhere last shade in this collection 866 trufa mania 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 Ooh, this one is also very dark hmm. kind of looks similar to the to 856 Let's see this is true chocolate shade so guys this is the true famania mania So guys, that was all of the swatches. I love doing swatch, uh, lipstick swatch videos. I love watching them because when you look at the shade on the website, it really do doesn't look like that in the real life. So I love and enjoy watching these kind of videos and making these kind of videos. And if you did enjoy this video, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and see you in my next video. Bye.